Archangel Michael, from the love of twin flames, with one descending and the other ascending, both in alignment with their higher selves, is the way this message is manifesting. With these movements of light come a message of great importance concerning disclosure and what is compelling it to take place. It has been pointed out many times that it is part of the process of ascension because the awakening into full consciousness involves a liberation from the darkness that has been created to keep mankind ignorant of its potentials. Disclosure will take place by divine command and as a manifestation of the divine will. A revelation concerning all the truths that have been suppressed has to take place. Nothing can stop it. It is necessary for the creation of new Gaia and no deferment, or attempt, by the dark forces to introduce modifications to the plan will be tolerated. The powers that have controlled mankind, and are now being dissolved, have suppressed truths and have also done this through a falsification of all knowledge and even of history. The chaos and turmoil that are part of the political scenes of events are the last attempts by the beast that is dying, to lash out with retaliation and a vengeance after centuries and millennia during which the tyrants in control constantly rewrote history to keep you in ignorance of your potential, for your connection with the Divine Presence is all you need to construct the paradise of a golden age that has been in utopia for millions of years. In His infinite mercy the Almighty forged a plan, but there was a right time for it to unfold, and until then the souls of mankind have been imprisoned in cycles of captivity that have taken them on a downward course to deep levels of the third dimension. The shepherds however came looking for the lost sheep, including those that had reincarnated upon earth from Maldic. During this time and for millennia only the few were able to ascend back to the higher dimensions after death. The karma that had to be balanced was too great until Saint Germain obtained a dispensation so that this would be possible with a repayment of 51% only. You now know that a paradise in physicality upon a higher level of vibration, or dimension, is the objective of the divine will. The work of those souls that rose in power in their reconstruction of the civilization they had known prior to the destruction of their world, and maintained their influence from the astral plane where they were cast following the Atlantean cataclysms, is being undone in the battle of the psyche. A war has been going on as a result of the attack of the dark forces upon the light bearers in every nation. The forces of darkness have created scenarios to create wars and are still attempting to incite conflicts, but are failing. I would like to reassure you that the process of disclosure is on its way, and that it is inevitable because mankind is being affected by a magnificent concentration of light radiation as the Earth and the solar system are traversing an area of space which abounds with photonic light. Disclosure is that great wave of enlightenment that is going to cause tremendous changes in the whole world. There is the stripping action taking place, as has been described before, and disclosure with all its revelations and restoration of knowledge will be occurring in all fields, including those that have an impact upon the conditions that cause misery and poverty in mankind. There are aspects relating to technology better health, and the existence of human beings in the solar system and galaxies. The process of ascension means that eventually each person will have an inner teacher and there will be no room for skepticism as a result of a development of certain psychic abilities, including that of telepathic communication. The Earth and its people are being irradiated by a stream of light particles, electromagnetic energies and gamma rays. 
There is no adverse effects from these because of the technology that is being used to diffuse and distribute this light into the human psyche via many channels. The technology is advanced and extraterrestrial. It has been provided by the beings you are beginning to be familiar with. They have been called the Blue Avians. They work in cooperation with the Galactic Federation of Light and Ashtar Command, the Air Division of the Great White Brotherhood, as they have been defined. This Brotherhood is the spiritual hierarchy of this solar system. The Galactic or Intergalactic Federation is an organization that was founded more than four million and a half of years ago. Within its councils are represented many nations and it is the nation of the constellation of Sirius which the Earth and Solar System are now attached to. They supervise the process of ascension and you are in their care. The Archangels and Ascended Masters work in cooperation with these Councils of Heaven or Higher Dimensions and in unison they follow the directives the goals of which are always to manifest Divine Will. They make it appear in the material world as a blueprint descending like an image from the heavenly realms. In the process of ascension the psyche of mankind is being molded according to that image and changes also take place at the level of the DNA. The Archangels are the emissaries of the concepts and thought forms, as well as of a way of being, or consciousness, that is being birthed into the material universe. Since March 20, 2016, the Earth has been navigating through a region of space that is highly potent in light. You have been experiencing the highest peak in your reception of torrents of particles of light since the solar system penetrated the photon belt in 1996. You have heard of the previous phase which has permitted a first wave of souls to penetrate the void that barrier orgasm that keep the higher dimensions secure. They have been experiencing higher vibrations as their physical bodies are now anchored upon the fifth dimension, but in physicality. This journey started on September 28, 2015. Your physical bodies have constantly been changing for decades. Some DNA modifications have already been carried out on them for many years and decades, but the procedures have been intensified recently. There also are changes that are the result of the movement towards you of the light body or Christ consciousness. This also is that celestial counterpart of yourself which remained in heaven when you incarnated. It is the reason that an awakening is taking place. There is the movement downward of the spirit towards mankind and a movement upward of the soul in the desire for reunion, as well as an aspiration for change and the manifestation of a golden age. The angelic kingdom is working on the transformation of your physical structure to make it more suitable to the ultimate goal of a higher form of physicality which all can achieve in a time that is not too far in the future in which disease and death will play no part. Your molecular structure has already been converted to crystalline and the work of converting it from a carbon-based structure is not yet completed. It is 90% complete for some of the souls that are categorized as wave I and less for the others. You are able to lift yourselves up in meditation with the help of the tools provided in all ages by the Ascended Masters and Archangels, to greater heights upon the ladder of consciousness. You are able to vibrate, raise the level of your frequency of vibration and resonate in reaction to the influx of spiritual energies, love, and the particles of the photonic light that you are literally being immersed in as the earth is crossing this hour of space that is a dense layer of light. You are anchored upon the fifth dimension and have been joined by the souls of the second wave of March 20, 
and you are already beginning to chart your journey upon the path of ascension towards the sixth dimension. There will be a third peak of energies towards the end of this year when a third group of souls will achieve the same thing. They will benefit from the knowledge gained by the first two waves because of the interconnectedness of being, and will have already been changed and prepared for this shift during the next few months. What will also have been preparing them is the gradual transformation resulting from disclosure as the two first waves of souls function in the realm of awakened consciousness and are influencing the media and the political scene. The forces that are at work behind these external scenes are tremendously powerful. They also are due to the position of the solar system and what has been called the galactic alignment. There are various forces influencing the psyche of mankind, and some are astrological in nature. Millions of galactic beings are assisting the process of ascension with their technology. The angelic kingdom and ascended masters are sweeping the earth with their rays and the forces at their disposal. The lightworkers also contribute as they provide a very necessary input with their calls for dispensation and interventions. Now the work that remains is related to the disentanglement of the souls of mankind that still need to go through the process of awakening. They are still captive of the forces of darkness and need to be liberated from the shackles of their own creation. It is an exorcism of some sort that is being carried out in conjunction with an overcoming of the dark powers that have been controlling the world and that have suppressed truth. The heavenly beings operate however in a way that releases them from this captivity without violence. They are being changed by a stripping down of their negativity, except when this is impossible. Our circles and swords of blue flame, mine and those of mighty Astria and Hercules, for instance, are intelligent beams that transform the human psyche. However qualities and virtues appear where there is willingness and devotion. The magnetization of the light occurs in a natural way as you live your lives and make choices, and at this time of ascension, this process is being activated and accelerated. If a human being has magnetized darkness, or shall we say, if this being is composed of darkness rather than light, when passing through the chasm, if this darkness is removed, and there is not enough light within this soul, this being cannot survive, cannot pass. It corresponds to the karma that has to be balanced to achieve ascension. This is one of the reasons the solar system did not penetrate the Stargate to be transported to its appointed place as a system of the constellation of Sirius at the earlier date that had been expected. I have said it was because of a certain technology that we were able to enter this stargate on September 28, 2015. This was expected to be possible in December 2012 but was delayed in the hope that more souls could be readied and the process is now taking place in three phases or waves. Disclosure has begun and it is seeping into the mainstream media. All is in place so that it progresses like fireworks for years to come because the Pandora box that is being opened is so deep. Its meaning will have to be explored and analyzed, and many issues addressed. Many changes are on the horizon, tier ones because this event is of such magnitude that there are no words powerful enough to convey the wonders that this new era will bring.